After all, haven't navigators, geographers, and map makers mapped these areas? And shouldn't they have noticed this quirk by now, if the earth is indeed flat? Well, the reality is, the rabbit hole just gets deeper from here. So, to begin, the distance between Sydney, Australia and Nelson, New Zealand on the ball earth, given their coordinates and sparing you the spherical trigonometry, should be 1,310 miles. But the Australian Handbook, Almanac, Shippers and Importers Directory states the measured distance as being 1,550 miles, which is a full 18% longer. And while on the ball earth model, Antarctica is said to be a continent of ice situated at the bottom of the ball from 78 degrees south latitude, it should therefore not have a perimeter greater than 12,000 miles. However, early explorers like Captain Cook and James Clark Ross, in attempting to circumnavigate Antarctica, took three to four years to do so, and clocked in the distance traveled at 50 to 60,000 miles. That's twice the circumference of the equator. But the real proof for the flat earth map is in the flight paths. On the ball earth, several flights would have their shortest, quickest, and straightest path over or around the Antarctic continent. But instead, these flights take all manner of tangential detours, crossing into the northern hemisphere to refuel. Their reason? Antarctica's too cold, they claim. Well, I'm not buying it. When they claim there are bases with working machinery set up all over Antarctica. So let's just take a look at the actual flight paths and see what they have to disclose. One flight that should be a simple 11 hour shot across the Indian Ocean is from Johannesburg, South Africa to Perth, Australia. However, this flight takes a detour north, stopping in either Dubai, Hong Kong or Malaysia to refuel for a total flight time averaging over 18 hours. This ridiculously wayward detour is frustrating to say the least, but on the flat earth map starts to make sense. Another quick and easy flight you would think is from Johannesburg to Santiago, Chile. While an easy 12 hour flight below the Tropic of Capricorn is to be expected, Instead, every flight crosses the equator to refuel in Senegal, all the way near the Tropic of Cancer, for a total flight time of 19 hours. Though it doesn't make sense on the globe, as you can see it fits perfectly on the flat earth map. A third flight from Johannesburg is to Sao Paulo, Brazil, which should be a direct 10 hour flight across the 25th degree south latitude. But instead, every flight crosses into the north to stop in London to refuel, making the total flight time 24 hours. From Santiago, Chile to Sydney, Australia, a straight 15 hour flight across the South Pacific is expected. Despite refueling options in either New Zealand or any island in the South Pacific, the flight stops all the way at Los Angeles to refuel before continuing south to its destination. As already stated, these detours make no sense on the globe, but are explained and work perfectly well on the flat earth map, having the North Pole at the center. So investigate the subject for yourself and ask. The routes to make sense and the Google Maps didn't and the way they were trying to hide these ridiculous routes was with fake flights fake non-stop flights that aren't real and you can't get this video will just focus on some of the changes that took place since then like fair compare had to change their website and their flight search format that happened like a couple weeks after the video came out um, also some of the non-stops that they had out there disappeared from the searches um, as they were trying to figure out what to do I'm sure sometimes they were in the searches sometimes they weren't um, and then also now they've added some new uh, fake flights 
so I'll go over those. And yes, even though uh, it was a daily fight with shills and uh, it wasn't fun, <laughs> I blocked over a hundred of them so far. Daily fight for two months, still happening. Uh, because this is a huge lie and uh, they're trying to keep this one a secret. And this lie in particular uh, really pissed off a lot of people, uh, including a lot in the airline industry, because this lie is one of the big ones propping up the flat earth lie. And this lie exposes the flat earth a lot faster than people are ready to have it exposed, uh, including a lot of flat earthers. And I'll probably make another video on that another time. Proof. Where is your proof? How many times did I hear that? Uh, proof is in the logic, first of all. If you know the Earth is flat, like I do, then logically these are not real flights. But I know people need more proof than that, um, besides the actions that I've seen on this video since then, which also prove it to me. But here's how we get real proof and expose it. Calling out to friends in the Southern Hemisphere. We need your help. Show up to these airports and look for the gate of these fake flights. And I bet you won't find one. And if you do find one, I bet there won't be a plane pulling up or any people lining up for it. Because uh, they can fake these flights to a certain extent, but they can't fake it that far. So let's expose it. Let's expose fake flights and the flat earth. The seatbelt sign is on! First, please make sure that your seatbelt is securely fastened. Seatbelts can be purchased for $5. <laughs> to fasten, insert the metal fitting into the buckle and tighten the buckle by pulling the loose end away from you. To release, purchase a release flap for $7. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. We've never paid for seatbelts before. Once we've reached our cruising altitude, your flight attendant may or may not go down the aisle with snacks. If she chooses to, each passenger will be given a single peanut. Alright, this is Expedia. And it's a Sydney to Santiago search. And I can show you that every single one of these options on this page, which is 15 or 16, um, is fake. So we know this one is fake. This one is the nonstop from Sydney to Santiago, Qantas 27. Sometimes it shows up in the search, sometimes it doesn't. This one is fake. It used to only be available three days a week. Now it's available, I think, four days a week or so it says, but this one is fake. 12 hours and 40 minutes for um, for that flight. Nope. You'd think after all these years someone would listen to you. Oh, well. Airport management, the FAA and the airlines. Oh, cheats and liars. All right, let's get out of here. Flat Earth is the biggest lie of all time and they've kept it going for hundreds of years now and the way they do that is uh, with a lot of supporting lies and one of the supporting lies has to be fake flights and I can tell you right now that makes them nervous because this exposes the Flat Earth faster than they know it's about to be exposed so how far would they go to make you believe that these uh, non-stop flights are actually real? Um, well, this is how far they'll go. It was a colorful start for QF Flight 28 to Santiago, with Chilean dancers performing their national dance at Sydney Airport, giving passengers on the plane an exciting send-off for the 13-hour non-stop journey to this new Qantas destination. And guess who was there to meet them on arrival? Good morning. Yes, none other than John Travolta, the airline's ambassador at large in his pilot's uniform. Even workers on the ramp strained to get a look at the famous actor, who later spoke at a PAC media conference. Two wonderful countries 
being able to come together uh, with one flight, a non-stop flight from Sydney to Santiago, simple, simple trip. Do you see a plane out there? Do you? Oh, we are not going anywhere until there is a plane out there. <laughs> so that one is fake and every single other one of these ones is fake also. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Uh, no matter what the first part does, um, because all these flights eventually take off from Auckland and go to Santiago. And that we've already uh, shown is a fake flight. Do you see a plane out there? Do you? Huh? We are not going anywhere until there is a plane out there. <laughs> um, you can't do it. So, uh... All you really need to see, this is that 11 hour, 20 minute flight for 6,000 miles supposedly, um, but not on the flat earth map. All you need to know is that this is the same flight that's going to Auckland, 4.15 to 12.35, and you can see that all of these flights end at 12.35, no matter what the stops. This one goes through Brisbane first. So is this one, Melbourne first, so those parts can be real. I'm saying the Auckland to Santiago portion is not real. And see they're all, so all of these flights right here on this page are fake. So whatever happens, I'm sure you try to book one and it says, oh jeepers, nothing's available. Here's your next option to either Vancouver, San Francisco, or LA. It's an entirely different kind of flying altogether. It's, it's an, an entirely, entirely different, different kind of flying. flying. Here's flight 800. This is the uh, one that I'm talking about, the Auckland, 6,000 miles, Auckland to Santiago. Supposedly leaving every single day. Now there's another flight. Flight 1316 wasn't in the first video. Now it's a new flight, supposedly. But I'll show you, they just copied this flight. So it's just a, another fake flight. <clears throat> you can look here. Um, 415 departure time every single day of the week. So they both leave at the exact same time. Except for this one. <laughs> this one gets there in 10 hours and 15 minutes. And this one gets there in 11 hours and 20 minutes. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. So, yeah, this one. Same jet, same seats, all that stuff. So, now they're just getting sloppy. Uh, so now there's two fake ones, and you can see that flight 27 didn't come up. We can close these up, and I'll show you. But there's no non-stop in this. So interesting. And here's your dead giveaway. The Auckland flights, these are the two fakes, 813, 16, 7,337 miles. Your next options, double. goes all the way to 15.7. So you're either flying, there's one flight that takes you to San Francisco, then Houston, and then to Santiago. There's two different flights to LA that either take you to El Atlanta or Houston, and then Santiago. And then there is what? Uh, one flight to Vancouver and then you have uh, a couple of different options but I can take much more of this looks like I picked the wrong week to quit amphetamines Shana they bought their tickets they knew what they were getting into the last time the flight is delayed all right here we are Johannesburg to Perth and I've opened up all the real flights um, but we'll go over the fake ones. 
This one is real to Singapore. Yeah. And here's the flat earth map that I used uh, to map out the Johannesburg to Perth flights. And this flight right here from Johannesburg to Singapore to Perth. Almost a straight line and it's 7,800 miles. So that's where I'm getting that 5161 cannot be a real flight. Also all these Sydney flights are fake. They disappeared from the search altogether the other day but they're back today. Um, it's almost a straight shot on the flat earth map from Johannesburg to Singapore to Perth. And this is 7,803 miles. So it's close to 8,000 miles, not 5,161. So this flight right here, 280, South African Airlines, is a fake. And that was in the first video. Do you see a plane out there? Do you? Huh? We are not going anywhere until there is a plane out there. <laughs> um, you'll see a lot of these QF-64, Qantas-64. All of those are fake. Uh, those are all to Sydney. The first flight is to Sydney, 6.10 p.m. You'll see all of them are leaving at this time. So whatever the rest of the flight is, doesn't matter because the first flight part is fake. So this is a fake listing. <clears throat> Chicken or fish? Chicken or fish! You see they're listing it at uh, even the one stop, 88.82 which is only one mile less than the two stop. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, but yeah, um, this flight to Dubai, real. And that is 9,597 miles. Johannesburg, Dubai, Perth. And this one is to Abu Dhabi International, and this one's real too. But all the Q6, QF64s are fake because this first part of the flight, Quanta 64, 6,847 miles. Uh-uh. A lot longer than that. And all the Sydney flights weren't even on the search the other day, about two or three days ago. Uh, today they are. So, yep, there you have it. And you can see I'm not using any dates in this search, so that way it pulls up everything. And I'll show you. I've got everything checked over here, so any flight, any stop, these are all the different airports.